Continuing on from the previous video where we introduced enlargements, where we found that if we enlarge by a scale factor of 2, then what happened was that all of the lengths of the shape doubled. Now, what we're introducing here is a centre of enlargement. Because you'll find, and that will just be a point on the grid, you will find that if you have no centre of enlargement, you can draw the new shape any way you want on the grid, as long as it has been enlarged by that particular scale factor. The centre of enlargement fixes your answer in place, so it must appear in a very particular place. Now, we need to determine where that place should be. So let's say I'm going to enlarge this shape by scale factor 2. So the same scale factor as I did in the previous video, but new shape and now centre of enlargement. What you should do is, depending on who teaches you, um, some teachers like to do this with you drawing a line through every single corner of the shape. Um, I don't think you really need to do that. I tend to just use two. So I usually try to draw a line through the top point, catching the top of the shape. And then I draw a line through the bottom of the shape. Like so. So now, what we do is we go from the centre of enlargement to each of the corners. So I'm going to go with these two points and show you where they should now appear. So to get from this point to this point, I go 1, 2, 3 along and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. Now because we're enlarging by scale factor of 2, all lengths must be doubled, so I need to do it again. So I need to double that. So 1, 2, 3 along, and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. And you should find that the point that you draw is on the grid that you're drawing. If I'm looking for, let's say, this point, then I go 3 along and 1 up. So I need to double that, so I go 3 along and 1 up. This point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 along and 1 up. So it's always from the centre of enlargement, along, then up. So 5 along, 1 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 along, 1 up. So now I should have enough points to start drawing the shape. So that is this side extended. This is the bottom of the shape here. Now that length is 1 here, so it needs to be doubled, so that will be now 2 pi. That's 1 along, so it's now 2 along. This is 2 up, so it needs to be 4 up. And to finish off the shape, like so. So this is how we draw the shape in a particular position using the centre of enlargement. Okay? This is actually how perspective drawing is done. So, if you want to draw someone who is in the distance, you can use these lines to get the correct height and proportion of the, those people.